So go ahead and close the eyes, sit up nice and tall, whatever that looks like today. You guys are good where you're at if you want to sit on your knees. Totally fine. Just begin to arrive here in the space. Arriving in your body, take a deep breath in through the nose, filling up, expanding the belly, the ribs. Hold the breath at the third eye center. And then big clearing sigh out through the mouth. Just let it go. Good. One more time, just like that. Deep breath in, filling up, expand. Hold at the third eye. Big clearing sigh out, let it go. Beautiful. Starting class with three ohms. Take a deep breath in. my class we start with a short call and response chanting so it's called kirtan so I sing and then you sing and then I sing and then you sing and today we're just going to chant to Lord Ganesha Lord Ganesha is the little elephant deity the little elephant god and he's said to be the remover of obstacles so you chant to Ganesha you invoke Lord Ganesha when you're like starting something new, a new endeavor, a new job, a new move, a new relationship, when you're just trying to find like the path of least resistance, right? Like you want something to go smoothly and you're just like trying to clear the way, right? Or people also like they travel with a little Ganesha sometimes in their backpack or when they're flying or driving like to remove traffic to make sure their flight, their travel goes smoothly, right? So I figured it was appropriate today to chant to Lord Ganesha because when one door closes, another one opens and this is the end of a chapter, but a new beginning, right? All right, so I sing and then you sing and then I sing and then you sing. <clears throat> Ganesha Sharanam Sharanam Ganesha Ganesha Sharanam Sharanam Ganesha Ganesha Sharanam Sharanam Ganesha Sharanam Sharanam Ganesha Ganesha Sharanam Sharanam Beautiful, you guys. So just sit with that mantra, 
Just allow the vibration of the mantra to resonate in the body, to resonate in the mind, just helping you to clear your path, right? To clear away any obstacles that might be holding you back this evening, this week, mentally, from moving forward. Just take a deep breath in. Exhale. Good. And then just gently blink the eyes open. Let's start in child's pose today. So just make your way forward on your mat, heels together, knees out wide. Crawl the hands out long in front of you. Rest the third eye down towards the mat. Just begin to arrive. If you're not cool with being touched today, just raise a hand and keep it there for like five seconds so I can scan and see. If you're cool with a little bit of hands on assist, then we're good. All right, then I can't get the music to play. Good, take a deep breath in. And then on the exhale, just start to walk the hands off to the left side of your mat, reaching through the right fingertips, grounding down through the right sit bones. Finding length all the way through. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> all right. The speaker system sometimes is a little touchy. <laughs> if, I, if I hit pause, it disconnects. So we're moving the obstacles, right? Deep breath in. <laughs> Deep breath out. Good. Slowly walk the hands off to the opposite side of the mat, reaching through the left fingertips, grounding down through the left sit bones, finding the sling through the left side of the body. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more big breath. Exhale. Good. Just walk your hands back through center. We're going to find the shoulder opener. So prop yourself up onto the elbows, crawl the elbows out in front of you, hands come to prayer overhead, and just sit the seat back in space. Press the third eye down towards the mat. If you guys are ever lost, you can look up at my husband over here, Ben. He's our demo today. <laughs> Good, one more big breath, inhale. Exhale, release the hands down to the mat and just slide all the way forward onto your belly, setting up for your sphinx pose. So the elbows are directly underneath the shoulders, hands directly out from the elbows. Grip the mat with the fingertips and start to traction the heart through the shoulders. Chin is parallel to the mat. Really think about like, okay, so Dawn says this. Think about you're like a Care Bear, right? And you know Care Bears used to like shine like their superpowers out of their heart center. So you're like a Care Bear, right? So find that space and shine your powers out to the universe. One more breath here. Exhale. Release the chest down to the mat. Bring the hands to the front two corners of your mat. Create tense with the fingertips. Elbows go wide. Inhale, roll the heart up off the, the mat. Find space. Good, exhale, lower everything down. Moving with the breath, inhale, peel the heart up, gaze goes up, find space. Exhale, lower everything down to the mat. Last time, inhale, peel the heart up, gaze up, find space, nice Manny. Exhale, lower everything down, good. Hands come in line with the chest. Just press up into a lazy upward facing dog. The legs can stay down on this first upward facing dog unless you want to lift them, that's totally fine. Gaze over the right shoulder. Gaze over the left shoulder. Gaze right. Gaze left. Good. And then just press up into your tabletop position. Good. So moving through a couple rounds of cat cows. On the inhale, dropping the belly, gaze goes up, find space. Exhale, round through the spine, gaze as the belly, press the floor away from you. Using the breath as a guide, inhale, arch up, look up, shine your heart forward. Exhale, round and hollow, gaze is at the belly. Last round, inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. Good. Now just begin to invite in some more movement. Good. So finding some side to side motions with the spine, bringing the seat towards the heels. 
Just moving intuitively here on your mat. So just taking a little inventory of the body, noticing where you might need a little bit extra love, a little bit extra movement this evening. Where are you holding tension in the body? So just start to remove that obstacle, that physical obstacle from the body. Good. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tuck the toes under. Hover the knees like two inches up off the mat. So just press the floor away from you. Press the space up between the shoulder blades. Start to engage the core. Long spine all the way from the tailbone through the crown of the head. Good. So really press up. You're like dipping. Press. There you go. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Send the hips up and back. Taking a deep bend in one knee. Deep bend in the other knee. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Shaking the head out, yes. Shaking the head out, no. Flubber the lips here. Good, one more time, deep breath in. Exhale. Good, next inhale, send the right leg up high to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip. Start to circle it out here in one direction. Big circles, just finding space in this hip joint. And then switching directions. Big circles in the opposite direction. Good. Send the right leg up high behind you. Exhale, knee to nose, round and curl. Hug it in, press the floor away. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it forward between the hands, runner's lunge, drop the hips, open the heart, find space. Exhale, straighten out the right leg, bow over the right leg. Moving with the breath, inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, shift it back. Last time, inhale forward. Exhale, straighten it out. Stay here and breathe. Think about drawing this right hip crease back in space. Finding length in the spine, releasing the head, releasing the neck. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, bend back into the right knee, lower the left knee, and then just walk the hands to the top of the right thigh. Find a couple pulses here, starting to wake up the front of the left hip. Shoulders down the back, big breath here. Sweep the arms up high to the sky, find length in your low lunge, really reach up, stretch up. Catch the left wrist, lean it over to the right side of the space. Find the length all the way through that left side of the body. Maybe release the right fingertips down to the mat beside you. Inhale. Exhale, sweep the hands down to the mat. Skandasana, back of the house. Just feel into the stretch, right? So it doesn't have to be like your proper skandasana. Your hands can be down, just opening up that inner groin. And then pivot and plant the hands to the back of the mat. Runner's lunge. Send the left leg up high behind you. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Start to circle it out in one direction. Big circles. And then switching directions. Big circles in the opposite direction. Good. Send the leg back high behind you. Exhale, knee to nose. Round and curl. Press the floor away. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Runner's lunge, gaze goes up. Exhale, straighten out the left leg, bow over the left leg, wide pyramid. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, shift it back. Last time, inhale forward. Exhale, shift it back. Stay here and breathe. Flexing the left toes back to the face. Soften the neck, soften the jaw. Inhale. Exhale, bend back into the left knee. Lower the right knee. Walk the hands to the top of the left thigh and just start to pulse it out here a little bit. Starting to wake up the front of that right hip. We hold a lot of tension in the front of our hips right here, right? It's super tight. I see that, Olivia. You're like, whew. Inhale, arms high. Reach up, stretch up, gaze up, find length. Inhale. Catch the right wrist. On the exhale, lean to the left. Find the length through the right side of the body. Big breath in. Sink a little bit deeper. Exhale. Maybe release the hands down to the, beside you if you have space. If not, no worries. You keep the wrist. 
Good. And then exhale, hands come down, skin dots in the front of the mat. Just feel into the inner groin stretch. Hands can stay down. You don't have to do the whole prayer at heart center. You don't have to bind yet. We're just waking things up. Good. Pivot and plant the hands to the front of the mat, runner's lunge. Step the left foot to meet the right, hip width distance apart, and let the head hang heavy. Just sway side to side in your ragdoll pose. Shaking the head out, yes. Shaking the head out, no. Good. Release the hands down to the mat. Engage the core. Keep the torso heavy and start to roll up, stacking one vertebrae at a time. When you reach the top, sweep the arms up overhead. Find a full body stretch. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Closing the eyes, just taking a moment to set an intention for your practice today. So maybe that intention is to just remove one thing from your life that like no longer serves you. Remove that one thing that is like maybe holding you back from pursuing your dharmic path, your one true calling, that one thing that you were, you were put here on this planet to do, right? So just letting that fall away throughout the flow today. Take a deep breath in, exhale, good. Gently move the eyes open, front of the mat, toes and heels to touch, Tadasana. Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A, inhale, arms, palms press, gaze goes up. Exhale, fold it forward over straight leg, release the head, release the neck. Inhale, look forward, exhale, plant the hands, Step or float back, chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog, find space. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe here. Five deep breaths, inhale. Exhale, starting to cultivate your ujjayi breathing. Breath in and out through the nose, inhale. Exhale, deep breath in, deep out. Two more. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, empty out. One more. Inhale, nice breath, you guys. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Arms up, palms press, gaze up. Exhale, arms by the side to dasana. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, arms up, palms press, gaze up. Exhale, fold it forward over straight legs. Inhale, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, a deep breath in. Deep breath out, following the breath in and out of the body, right, with your inner gaze. So inhale, filling up. Exhale, empty out. One more inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms up, palms press, gaze up. Exhale, arms by the side, Sudhasana. Last time, inhale, arms up, palms press, gaze up. Exhale, fold it forward, release the head and neck. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And inhale, fill up. Exhale, empty out. Inhale, exhale, two more, deep breath in, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, inhale, step or float forward between the hands, exhale, fold, inhale, rise all the way up, arms up, palms press, exhale, arms by the side, Tadasana, inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose, bend the knees, arms up, palms press, toes and heels together to touch, suck the belly in, tuck the tailbone under, sink a little bit deeper, exhale, fold it forward over straight legs, inhale, look forward, exhale, plant the hands, step or float, Chaturanga, Vinyasa, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, 
Inhale, step the right foot forward, rise up in your warrior one, strong warrior one. Ground through the knife side to the back foot, so drop the left heel. Hips are square to the front of the space. Deep breath here. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga. Beautiful, you guys. Inhale, upward facing dog, nice beauty, nice salsa. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, rise up in your warrior one. Ride the wave up. Good, stay here, feel your strong foundation. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths, inhale. Exhale. Good, you got your muscles to no, no, they look good. <laughs> deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, ukatasana, chair pose, bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, pour it right back down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, step the right foot forward, warrior one. Open warrior two, heel to arch alignment, sink into that right knee. Flip the right hand, reach up, reach back, reverse your warrior. Stay for three breaths, inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper, inhale, reach a little bit further. Exhale, hands come down, step it back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward, warrior one. Good, right away open, warrior two. Stay for a breath. Flip the left hand, reach up, reach back, reverse. Find this length, sink a little bit deeper for three, two, one. Hands come down, step it back, vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, breath with movement. Inhale, right foot forward, warrior one. Open, warrior two. Inhale, reach up, reach back. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, warrior one. Open for two. Reach up, reach back. Hands down, chaturanga, vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, start to shorten the stance and just re reach back for the left ankle with the right hand and pull your heart underneath that left armpit, right? Keep drawing that left hip back in space, just a little twist, inhale. Exhale, right hand down, reach the left hand back, twist underneath that right armpit, gaze is up for three, two, one, release the left hand. Keep this shortened down dog. Gaze goes forward between the hands. We're just gonna take a few donkey kicks. So you're gonna bend into the knees. If you don't have handstand in your practice, it's no problem. You're just gonna work on hopping up and clapping the feet together overhead. Trying to get a little bit of hang time. Take about five hops. Good, and then on your fifth hop, you're gonna land with the feet outside of the hands in your Malasana Yogi squat. Hands to prayer at heart center, shift side to side. Either stay here or plant the right hand in front of the right foot. Left arm goes high to the sky, gaze goes up. Maybe you bind, wrapping the left arm around the lower back, grasping the right hand. Maybe you come up, shifting the weight into the left foot, press the left foot down into the mat, and come up off the mat. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Three, two, one, come back down. Bring the hands back to prayer and heart center, switch sides. Left hand goes out, right arm goes high. Either you stay here, maybe you bind, maybe you shift the weight into the right foot, press the foot down into the mat, and lift everything up, keep the bind. Three, two, one, make your way back down. Hands come back to prayer, Bakasana Crow Pose. Hands go out in front of you, Come high on the balls of the feet, walk the knees up into the armpits, gaze goes forward, and maybe you float one foot, maybe you float both feet. Holding here as long as you can. I know you can't. <laughs> Good. Look forward when you do your crow. 
Yes, and then shoot it back, vinyasa, when you're ready. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. <laughs> Inhale, step the right foot forward, warrior one. Good, open warrior two. Reach up, reach back, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle, right hand down, left hand goes up and over. Maybe you modify like Ben, right forearm to right thigh. Maybe you bring the hand to the outside of the right foot. Maybe you bind, maybe you fly up in your bird of paradise. Good, three breaths here, opportunity to fly if you have it. Good, for three, two, one. Make your way back down if you're up. Left hand down, right hand goes high. Find your twist, ring out the spine. Gaze goes up. Breathe here. Good. Roll onto the knife, edge of the back foot. Vashistasana, side plank. Maybe you try the big toe bind variation like Elsa down here or Heidi. Lifting up through that left side of the body. Lift up a little bit higher for three, two, one. Drop the right foot behind you, flip your dog. <laughs> Press the hips up to the sky. Reach to the front of the room with the gaze. Good, lift up a little bit higher. And then listen up, yogis. You're gonna try to land the right foot all the way back to the front of the mat without landing the right hand down. So flip it back over. If you can, land the right foot forward. You're gonna rise up in your high lunge. Challenge, right? It's all core, core work. Open the arms to the right side of the space. Gaze goes past the right fingertips. Find your twist. Maybe reverse, reverse your warrior. Land the right hand to the back of the left thigh. Sink into that right knee, reach, inhale. Exhale, sweep the left arm forward and pop it open to your warrior two. Good. Straighten everything out, catch the right wrist. Lean to the back of the space, open up through that right side of the body. Big breath here. Exhale, arms come back to a T, shorten the stance for Trikonasana, triangle pose. Reach, reach, reach forward. When you can't reach any further, tick-tock the arms to six and 12. Gaze goes up past those left fingertips. Stacking the left hip on top of the right. Breathe here, inhale, exhale. I'm like this is your last class, so. <laughs> All right, gaze goes down, left hand to left hip. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Shift the weight forward, float the left foot up off the mat. Stacking that left hip on top of the right. Gaze goes up past those left fingertips. Breathe. Good. For three, two. Nice, Elsa, beautiful. All right, standing splits. Both hands come down to the mat. Walk the hands back to meet the standing leg. Lift the left leg up nice and high, right? Walk the hands back. Maybe you bind with one hand. Maybe you bind with both hands. Maybe you take a few handstand hops. Coming up into your handstand. If you don't have handstand, we will transition back and meet in our downward facing dog. So maybe take a few hops. Nice, you guys. Here, Mandy. One more. Go. Good. There you go. Oh my God, you're so like, bam. Bam, all right, down dog. <laughs> nice, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the left foot forward, warrior one, rise up. Open warrior two. Reach up, reach back, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, left hand down, right hand goes up and over, maybe you modify. Left forearm to left thigh. Reaching all the way through those right fingertips. Pressing the hips open to the right. Yeah, maybe you bind and come up. Good. Lots of flyers today. <laughs> Good. All right, birds, make your way back. Right hand down, left hand goes high. Find your twist, high on the ball of the back foot. Gaze goes up, breathe. Roll onto the knife edge of the left foot, Vashistasana. Stack the left foot on top of the right. Nice modification, Andrea. <laughs> Good, lift up a little bit higher through that right side. Good, drop the left foot behind you, flip your dog, come into your rock star pose, reach to the front of the space, 
press the hips up to the sky, lift a little bit higher. And then the challenge here is to flip it back over, land that left foot back to the front of the mat and rise up in your high lunge. Nice, guys. Open arm twist to the left side of the space. Gaze goes past the left fingertips. Maybe land the left hand to the back of the right thigh. Reach through the right fingertips. Keep that deep bend in the left knee. Inhale. Exhale, windmill the right arm forward. Open it up to your warrior two. Keep the deep bend in the left knee. Straighten everything out. Catch the left wrist. Lean to the back of the space. Open up. Exhale, arms come back to a T. Shorten the stance. Trikonasana, reach, reach, reach forward. And then tick-tock the arms to six and 12. Gaze goes up, past those right fingertips. Beautiful. Stacking the right hip on top of the left. Good. Two more quality breaths here. So fill up, empty out. One more inhale. Exhale, gaze goes down, shift the weight forward, arms, the right. Challenge your balance, maybe take a little bit of weight on your fingertips. Flexing that right foot. Right hand comes down, standing splits. Walk the hands back to meet the standing leg. Lift the right leg up nice and high. Lift it a little bit higher. Opportunity for hops. You can walk the hands out in front of you. Gaze goes forward between the hands. If you don't have handstand in your practice, it's no problem. You just rock the weight into the very tiptoe of the ball of the left foot. Maybe floating up. And then the back when you're ready. Go through your chaturanga. Good. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Bend the knees. Inhale. Step or float forward between the hands. Exhale. Fold. Stay down. Bring the feet hip width distance apart. Collect the big toes with the peace fingers. Inhale. Lift up and lengthen. Exhale, fold, pull the chest down to meet the thighs, release the head, release the neck. And big breath. Exhale, one more inhale. Exhale, good. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands come to the hips and rise all the way up with a flat back. Come to stand. Shift the weight into the right foot, draw the left knee up and into the chest. Find your strong foundation. Find one point of focus out in front of you, your dristy, right? And then drape the left ankle across the right thigh. Press the hips forward first, just to open up the pelvis. And then bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Start to bend into the right knee. Sit the seat back in space. Maybe you touch the hands down to the mat. If you have an arm balance variation and you want to do that, you can go for it. Hooking the left toes on the outside of the right tricep. And then looking really far forward, maybe floating the right leg up off the mat. And maybe extending it back behind you. Or you just stay here and feel the stretch. Right? This is level one. That's like level six. <laughs> All right, slowly start to come back up. Sit the seat back in space. Wrap the left leg all the way up and over the right leg. Arms out wide, left arm under right. Full Garudasana, eagle pose. Press the forearms away from you, sit nice and low. Bring the knees, the elbows out in front of the knees. Find a long spine. Good, gaze is slightly out in front of you. Good. Stay low in the torso. All you're gonna do is unwind that left leg and kick it back behind you for your warrior three with the wrap. Flex the left foot to the back of the space. Strong right leg, feel the shake in the right leg for three, two, one, soften into the right knee, land it back in your low lunge. So drop the left knee and then start to trace the line down the ceiling to the back of the space. Keep the eagle arm wrap. Sink deeper in the right knee. Good. Unwind the arms. 
Straighten out the right leg, Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Flex the right toes back to the face. Good. Bend back into the right knee, sweep the arms up high to the sky, low lunge. Exhale, twist. Hook the left tricep on the outside of the right thigh. Hands to prayer. Maybe you tuck the back toes under and lift the back knee. Level one, level two, level three, open the arms. Level four, bind. Level five, Elsa. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, one more breath. Bind length. Two more. One more inhale. Exhale, good. Release the hands down and just step it back, vinyasa. Flow through your chaturanga or skip. You can always skip the vinyasa meeting in your downward facing dog. Not a problem, right? Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let it go. Good. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Exhale, fold, feet or hip width distance apart. Padahasdasana, walk the hands underneath the feet, toes meet, meet the wrist creases. Lift up and lengthen, flat back. Exhale, fold, release the head, release the neck, elbows go wide, breathe here. Send the sit bones high to the sky. Good, good. <laughs> Yeah, you can dance a little bit if you're feeling it. <laughs> All right, inhale, lift up halfway. Walk the hands out from underneath the feet. Hands come to the hips. Rise up with a flat back. Good. Come all the way to standing. Shift the weight into the left foot. Draw the right knee up and into the chest. Stand up nice and tall. Find your dristi, your one point of focus. And then drape the right ankle across the left thigh. Press the hips forward first, just to open up the pelvis, right? Like Elvis, right? <laughs> and then sit the seat back in space. Hands come to prayer. Maybe touch the hands down to the mat. Maybe you fly, hooking that right foot on the outside of the left tricep, gaze goes forward. Maybe you just float the left foot up. Maybe you extend it long behind you up to the sky. Three, two, one, slowly make your way back. Hands float back to prayer at heart center. Drape the right leg all the way up and over. Arms out to a T. Right arm under left. Full Garudasana Eagle Pose. Start to nest your bird. Bring the elbows down in front of the knees. Hug everything in nice and tight. Find this restriction of the flow of the blood in the body. And then stay low, start to unwind the right leg, kick it back behind you in your warrior three. Feel the burn in that left leg. Really flexing the right foot. Land it back in your low lunge. Trace that line down the ceiling. Sink into the left knee. Good, dropping the head back. Try to see the back of the room with the gaze. Exhale, unwind the arms, hands come down. Straighten out the left leg, half splits. Release the head, release the neck. If you moved into your full splits, go for it. Good. Bend back into the left knee, sweep the arms high, reach up. Exhale, twist. Hook the right tricep on the outside of the left thigh. Hands to prayer. Maybe you lift the back knee. You open up the arms. Maybe you bind. Maybe you take the up balancing variation. Good. Breathe there. Finding length all the way from the right heel through the crease. Stay in it. Inhale. Exhale. Release the hands down. Chaturanga. Vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a child's pose just for a few breaths. Heels together, knees out wide. Press the chest down to the mat, third eye down to the mat. Crawl the hands out long in front of you. Good. Catching your breath. 
Here, Jai breathing. Last big breath. There you go. I didn't get you yet. <laughs> Good. And then slowly start to tuck the toes under, send the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Deep breath here. Exhale. Good. Inhale, sweep the right leg up high to the sky behind you. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. You pause or you fly. If you're pausing, it's great. You're building core strength. Yes, nice bend. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, knee to the opposite elbow. Pause or fly. If you're pausing, it's great. You're building that core strength. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, slide it forward for pigeon pose. Right shin parallel to the front of the mat. Walk the head back to the hip. Breathe. Just resting the third eye down to the mat. Okay. Just coming back to that intention. Stay down. Start to walk the hands back up in line with the hips. Open up through the heart center. And turn the music off for just a breath. Let's interlace the hands and press the fists down away from you. Find space just for a breath. Good. Exhale, hands come down. So we're gonna do something different. You're gonna slide the left ankle behind, or the left knee behind the right ankle and come to this figure four, like standing on your knees, right? So the knee, the right knee is directly like parallel to the front of the mat, right? All right, and then arms out wide, sweep the left arm underneath the right, come into your eagle arm wrap. The goal here is to keep pressing the hips forward, trace that line down the ceiling. Good, find this like, it's a figure four camel, eagle, Hybrid, mythical creature pose. <laughs> Good, slowly start to come back up. Unwind the arms, hands come down. Tuck the left toes under and start to transition the weight back onto the left foot. So you're in your toe stand. Either you stay here, just working on your balance, maybe bringing one hand to the center of your heart, switching it out, challenging your balance. Or you can open up the arms, hands to prayer, challenge your balance, find your dristi, one point of focus. Good. If you fall out of it, we're coming here anyways, when you're ready. <laughs> All right, everybody's done. So just rock the legs side to side a few times. Okay. And then plant the left foot, plant the hands behind you, fingers pointed towards the sit bones. Take a reverse tabletop with this figure four. Lift the hips, drop the head back, open the heart. Breathe for three, two, one. Come back down to your seat. Draw the left heel in towards the right sit bone. For your seated spinal twist, left arm goes high. Exhale, twist. Hook the right tri or left tricep on the outside of the right thigh. We made it. Sorry, guys. The train, man. <laughs> Sit up nice and tall, maybe you bind. Every exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, exhale. Good. Counter rotate, untwist your twist. So we're gonna do something a little bit deeper too here. So go ahead and grab the right shin, the right leg. You're gonna bring the foot into the left elbow crease, the knee into the right. And you're gonna rock your leg like a little baby, right? <laughs> So you're rocking your baby, <laughs> your sweet, sweet baby. <laughs> and then you're gonna catch the outside edge of the right foot with the left hand. And you're gonna try to bring the right knee up and over the right shoulder. So like a backpack, right? Like a purse, 
right hand comes down to the mat, either you stay here or you extend the right leg up to the sky and bring the gaze up past the left armpit. Or you just stay here working on getting that leg over the right shoulder. Like that's enough of a challenge, right? Good. You can stay here with the leg extended or Manny and Elsa, you guys might want to try this, or Heidi. Place the left ankle on top of the right and extend the legs out to the right side for your eight point pose. Hands are down like eagle or like Bakasana. Yes, nice Olivia. Good. All right. And then just down dog when you're ready. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Thanks. It's nice to see next options, you know? <laughs> I always like to give you guys something to work towards. So wherever you're at, it's totally fine. Inhale, left leg goes high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Pause or you fly. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, knee to right elbow, pause or fly. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, slide it forward for your pigeon pose. Left shins parallel to the front of the mat. Catch your breath. Set this up, let it feel good, right? And then just fold forward down to the mat. Coming back to your intention. Like what no longer serves you in your life, right? Just start to let that go. Allow this practice, this tapas, this heat that we built in the body to just burn away the things that no longer serve us, right? The things that are not conducive to our highest selves, right? our best version of us. Stay down. Finding Santosha or contentment in wherever you are on your journey, on your dharmic path, your true calling. Finding contentment in the process. So not being complacent, right? But still having like your goal but finding contentment in the journey. So let's start to walk the hands back up in line with the hips. Interlace the hands behind you, puff the heart up to the sky, find space. And then exhale, hands come down. Slide the right knee behind the left ankle. Come up onto the like the knee and the shin, so the left shin's parallel to the front of the mat. Sweep the arms out wide, right arm under left, eagle arms. Press the forearms away from you, press the hips forward and start to lean back and We did prep for this, right? We already did figure four, we already did eagle arms, so this should, all you're adding is the back bend. <laughs> One more inhale. Exhale, start to rise back up. Hands come down. Tuck the right toes under. Keep the figure four and just start to sit back on your right heel. Find your balance. So like laser focus and on something that's not moving. Either stay here, maybe float one hand to heart center. Maybe you float the other. Maybe the arms come out wide. Maybe the hands come to prayer. Maybe you just land back on your seat. <laughs> Good, take your time. And just start to rock side to side as you come down to your seat. Like, nice. Good. Take a reverse tabletop, hands point towards the body, lift the seat, press the hips up to the sky, drop the head back. And then exhale, come all the way back down to your seat. Draw the right heel into the left sit bones. Set up for your seated spinal twist. Ground through the left hand, right arm goes high. Exhale, twist, hook the right tricep. Every inhale, finding length. Every exhale, twisting a little bit deeper. See something new behind you. Inhale, exhale, last big breath. 
Exhale. Good. Counter rotate, untwist your twist. Just take a bow in the opposite direction. And then come back through center. You're going to bring that left foot to the right elbow crease. And then wrap that left arm around the front and rock your baby. <laughs> Good. Just opening up that hip. Good. Catch the outside edge of the left foot with the right hand. And start to walk that left knee up over the left shoulder. So like manually working it up and over the left shoulder. Left hand comes down. So either you're just working on this, right? Or you start to extend that left leg. Gaze up underneath the right armpit. Beautiful, you guys. So either you stay here or you bend that left knee again. Really like hug it around the left tricep and then place the right ankle on top of the left. Shift the weight into the hands. Gaze is forward, eight point pose. Holding here if you have it or challenge yourself. Nice, Olivia. Woo! <laughs> and then just come down to your seat. All right, Baddha Konasana, easy pose. <laughs> Heels together, knees out wide. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, just fold it forward over the feet. Press the thighs away from you with the elbows. Release the head. Release the neck. <sighs> I know you gotta go. I actually don't. Oh, you don't? No, okay. Don't Good. <laughs> Good. And slowly sit back up. Just draw the right foot in, left leg long, Janushirsasana. Sit up nice and tall, square the shoulders over the left leg. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Find length in the side bodies. Release the head and neck. Inhale, sit back up and just switch it out. Draw the left foot in, right leg goes long. Square the shoulders over the right leg. And then exhale, fold over the right leg. Deep breath in. Exhale. Slowly start to make your way back up. Bring both legs long out in front of you. Arms come out to a V and slowly start to roll down to your mat. One vertebrae at a time. Taking your time, the legs are gonna hover up off the mat at the bottom. So engage the core, reach for the heels through the fingertips. Holding here, find that little bit of fire in your core, right? For three, two, one, release everything down to the mat. Setting up for two backbends of your choice, because we already did a little bit of backbending. So either you start with a bridge pose, or you go into straight two full wheels right away, right? So five breaths in each backbend at your own pace. Take your time, yogis. Set this up. Yeah, maybe you do like Ben here, just lifting the seats and interlacing the hands down to the mat behind you. Maybe you move into your full wheel. What's up, Olivia? You good? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? So five breaths in each back bend. When you're done with the second one, we will meet in our happy baby. So just coming all the way down and rocking the sacrum outside to side, massaging the lower back. Guys, take your time if you're still back bending. Just feel into it. And then massage the lower back on the mat. Rock the sacrum side to side. Good. Grab behind the knees, rock and roll the entire length of your mat. Coming all the way up to your seat for Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold, legs go long out in front of you. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, fold it forward over straight legs. 
Good, release the head and neck. Every inhale, finding a little bit of length. Every exhale, folding just a little bit deeper. Good. Good. Inhale, sit all the way back up. Come back to lying on your back, setting up for your shoulder stand. Come all the way back down to your back. Hips go up high over the shoulders, hands to the lower back for support. Lift the hips, point the toes, find one long line all the way from the shoulders up through the toes. Your gaze is past the toes. Nice, Sandy. You're getting deeper. <laughs> Looks good. Good, lift up a little bit higher. For three, two, one, drop the feet overhead. Halasana, plow pose. If the tops of the feet reach the mat overhead, you can interlace the hands down to the mat behind you. Beautiful, you guys. Beautiful photo. Good. And the knees, hug the sides of the ears with the knees. Karna Pinasana, death pose, looking out the senses. Quieting the mind. And then release the hands. Use the hands as breaks. Begin to roll all the way down to your mat, one vertebrae at a time. Take your time articulating the spine all the way down to the mat. When you reach the bottom, setting up for your final pose. Matsyasana, fish pose. Come high under the forearms. Puff the chest up to the sky. Drop the head back. Touch the crown the mat behind you and then exhale out to the lion's breath clearing exhales out through the mouth letting go of anything that no longer serves you <sighs> clearing out any last bits of stagnant energy <sighs> one more big breath <sighs> exhale <sighs> shavasana or if you need any other last minute postures Feel free to take them now. If not, you just take up space and rest. Let the body get heavy. Just start to let the practice marinate in the body. Right? Just keeping the thoughts away just a little bit longer. Take these last few moments of class just for you.
to deepen your breathing. Start to bring some awareness back into the body. Inviting in small conscious movements. Swiggling the fingers and toes. Dropping the head over to one side and then the other. Reaching the arms up overhead. Find a full body stretch. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Right, draw the knees into the chest and roll over onto one side. Resting in your fetal pose. Just for a moment, taking one last moment here on your mat this evening just for you. And then as you're ready, slowly making your way back up to your seats, keeping the eyes closed, and facing the front of the space, closing the practice with the mantra, Loka Samasta Suki No Bhavantu. It means may all beings everywhere be happy and free from suffering, and may our thoughts, words, and actions contribute to that happiness and freedom for all. each and every one of you. Together we bow. Namaste.